Hi, welcome to the first video in Drum and Basics mixing series in which we're going to learn about, well, mixing. What you should focus on while mixing your tracks, what the common mistakes are and how to avoid them, different techniques and approaches along with the basic entities of mixing. Okay, so what is the mixing? Mixing is a process of combining several sounds in one with resolving issues that are following it, such as frequency conflicts, frequency balance, volume balance, panning, stereo image, mono compatibility, dynamic range, etc. We are going to start with something everyone is familiar with, kick and bass issue. This is a simple and basic issue, however, it covers several points of our tutorial. It is both frequency and volume conflict. Before we jump to examples, we have to look at things using logic. Both kick and bass have very rich lows and they both are usually among the loudest instruments in the mix. Now imagine two people that are standing right in front of you and speaking at the same time. You are not going to have a great time trying to concentrate on what they are both telling you. Same thing applies to kick and bass problem. Jumping a little bit forward, we can say that there is no option to solve this issue otherwise than sidechain, as long as we cannot pan one to the left and one to the right. Fundamentals of these instruments are usually a complete mono or very close to it, and panned right at the center. So, sidechain kicks in. Sidechain is a technique that reduces volume of one instrument when the other overlaps with it. In this case, kick is going to be the control signal and the bass will be reduced in volume every time the kick plays. There are several ways to make sidechain. I usually prefer to draw an automation clip myself, but you can set up a routing and use almost any compressor, limiter, or other plugin with volume control. I should mention that sidechain is used not only to solve issues, but also as a creative element. For instance, to pump drums. In this example, has are being sidechained by both kick and snare, so we have a pumpy feeling. You may also use sidechain to control certain frequency spots. Take a look at this example. Melody overlaps with the clap at frequencies that are essential for this instrument to be well readable. Even though clap is used on top of the kick, to which melody is sidechained as well, frequency sidechain from the clap adds clarity to this instrument. that this approach could lead to very interesting interactions. You can automate almost any parameter with any signal and come up with unique result. Don't be afraid to experiment. Our next lesson is going to be dedicated to panning. Hope you're having a great day. See you.